guys, how are you doing? I thought it would be a good time to just talk about my struggles around socialising and I'm hoping that a lot of other people will relate to this, kind of. I mean, it's not a very nice experience, but I thought I would just take you through what it's like for me and maybe people that don't understand can understand better and maybe people that suffer with this as well will feel seen and I'll also talk about where I think this all comes from but also how I'm addressing it because I would say this is probably one of my biggest issues in my life and it causes like so much suffering <laughs> so yeah I am really like obsessed with kind of fixing this or at least I mean it's not the great greatest terminology but kind of addressing this so it reduces so yeah I have been suffering with like socializing kind of hanging out with groups of people for a long time it's a bit confusing because I don't really know when it started necessarily I think I've always had an issue but it's become more and more pronounced um, and then as I got older and then after like lots of bad things happened and then when I uh, discovered I was autistic around I think it was three years ago so like so wait how long is three years? like around 28 um things just kind of slot into place a lot more you know it's quite common for autistic people to struggle with social interactions but it's not necessarily because of us a lot of the time it's because of ableism it's because our culture is very restricted and rigid about what we should do in social situations you know, if the approach was neurodiverse and things like, oh, it's absolutely fine for you to talk about not small talk or big things or, you know, direct things or dark stuff sometimes, if people are kind of up for that, you know, if those things were a part of the culture, then, for example, that wouldn't be as much of a problem as it is. And those are sometimes the kind of types of socialising that a lot of autistic people do or enjoy doing. Like a lot of autistic people, like I've been bullied a lot in since I was a kid, so that didn't help. <laughs> the whole like social thing, and I would like be in different groups, and then I would be ostracized from that group, and then I would go to the next group, and then be ostracized from that group. So that has always really happened, <laughs> and it kind of still happens a bit nowadays. Not the not the same, but um, it was definitely a massive theme when I was a kid. Um, and I also had a lot of friends that bullied me. Yeah, I just have a lot of, like, people that I should trust and that are meant to be my people be really horrible. And kind of, yeah, just, like, lots of stuff like that. Um, and content, no, I mentioned sexual violence briefly. So, yeah, and then I've had at least three friendship groups where one person in that group committed sexual violence against me like these are like the most serious uh, kind of examples there's just there's just th so many more examples of sexual violence as well within friendship groups but it's those are like the most in my views the ones that have like have impacted me the most so obviously that didn't help <laughs> and also I did a lot of work dealing with those things you know in one case Actually, in all cases, I think I addressed it with the person that committed the violence. And then there's all this complex bullshit kind of interplay within the friendship group about that. And that's for another story and that for another time. But it, like, obviously didn't help and, like, made everything much harder to cope with. Um, and, came, like, this kind of kind of continued theme of, like your loved ones are untrustworthy and also your friendships you know that's a really destabilizing place that like these people were my friends that committed violence against me also the people that yeah just there's there, there's a lot there but there's a lot of like betrayal and kind of yeah I've had quite a lot of abusive friendships as well most recently someone that I who was struggling um I housed her for a period of time and then she ended up just yeah, just becoming very like verbally and physically aggressive towards me to try and bully and intimidate me in my own home. And I had to kick her out. And it's just like, that was one of my friends. <laughs> and I know loads of people have like shit friends. Um, I just seem to have quite a high rate of them. And also it kind of links back. 
it really impacts me because it links back to the domestic violence I grew up with. So any kind of bullying happening, it's even more intense for people that have grown up with that kind of stuff because that's what domestic violence is. It's bullying, like very extreme bullying. So, yeah. So, you know, I've had lots of friends, like, be abusive uh, towards me and, you know, at least, like, six. So, yeah, and that's just at the top of my head kind of thing. Like, in my recent adult life kind of thing, um, rather than, like, childhood. So, yeah, so I guess, in general, that doesn't really, like, lay the land of socially interacting in, like, an easy space in the first instance. But then, obviously, being autistic, and, I, you know, abuse and being autistic like often relate a lot of people are horrible to us um for a lot of reasons unfortunately and then there's like struggling with so for me I'm very hyper aware of like minutiae parts of socializing so I can see and sense much more than other people a lot of, a lot of the time I also struggle with like facial expressions and tones of voices so I might misunderstand and misread people but then I also struggle with that for myself so I'm like how do you make this correct facial expression and also our society is not built to let people have quite varied facial expressions so like I might be smiling at the wrong point of something because I'm thinking about oh I really like uh, relate to you um, about this theme but the society just has a very narrow idea of like what facial expressions are appropriate and what we should do at certain times you know whereas if it was larger and that's what my therapist was saying. She was just like, you know, I'm really sorry that you live in a world that doesn't accept your way of socialising and your way of facial expression. And sing facial expressions? Anyway. Um, you know, that must be really difficult. So I'm noticing quite a lot. I'm struggling with, like, the actual physical elements of interacting. Then there's, like, touch as well. Like, a lot of people touch each other when they're socialising and you know, oh, you're sad, I'm going to touch your back, and that all confuses me, and I, I find touch very intense, and yeah, I'm a bit like, you know, I quite like friendly stuff, and I, you know, sometimes, not just never, I'm not anti-hugs and anti-touch, but it's not simple for me, it's a very complicated experience, but you know, I just force myself to go along with things a lot of the time, but yeah, and, and also, um, one of the things is, as I've said recently, I have this propensity to be uh, like overly nice and kind of forced nice and just really trying to make other people happy and comfortable. And I have other videos that address why I do that and what I'm doing about that, because I think people can see it sometimes as anxiety and people kind of pick up on that and can actually take advantage of that in a negative way. And I have been like bullied and mocked for doing that. So that takes up quite a lot of energy and so before I do social kind of interactions there's a lot of like build up of like knowing that I have to expend all this energy and I haven't really this is like the tip of the iceberg I haven't really gone into it as much as there is because it's just you know too like I can only do a 10 minute video <laughs> do you know what I mean I mean I can do more videos but yeah and then during that's like a lot of labor and then afterwards then I often OCD about like everything I did and every kind of moment and like really berate myself for doing it all wrong and I think I've just been criticized a lot and like told that I do you know so many things wrong so much that I'm just I've like internalized it all and I think a lot of autistic people will relate to that and also non-autistic people I think a lot of people kind of berate themselves after they do socializing so hopefully this will help kind of loosen this up bit up for us um yeah, and I just wanted to talk about that suffering that happens when I socialise in case other people related and look at ways of addressing it and changing that as well because I really want to, I want really, really, I just want to have fun. <laughs> I just want to have a nice time with people I love and care about, you know. Um, so, yeah, this is the first part of this video and then I will continue on next video. See you in a bit.